Hey loves, Kim here and I'm back with another video. So if this is your first time on the channel, I just want to say welcome and thank you so so much for watching. And if you like what you see, feel free to hit that subscribe button and be sure to click that notification bell that way you never miss an upload from me. And if you're an OG that's been here for a minute, thank you so so much for coming back. So in today's speed build, I'm building a beach house along the shores of Windenburg and I'm calling this one Horizon House. And the reason for that name is because of obviously the beautiful views of the sea and the sky and I just imagined the sun coming over the horizon and making the shores just shine. So that's why I went with that name. I feel like it's kind of like the epitome of peace and tranquility. For me, I am an avid nature watcher so I love seeing the sun and the sea kind of come together and make just this beautiful picture. But yeah. Yeah, here we are as you just saw I created some split leveling stairs um, in kind of like that double height area to the side if you're interested in creating your own double um, height <laughs> split level stairs like that I recently done a tutorial so there's several different um, styles that I showed you all how to do I will link that down in the description box and I'll also put a card on the screen so you'll be able to check out that video once you finish here I think it's very beneficial and I did all of that without using CC so yes definitely if you um, want to incorporate stairs like that check out that video but yeah i really really love this build i love the roof line here and i also add in a bit of a skylight above the split level stairs which i'm doing right now using some of the glass roofing and when you look up it's just so beautiful you can see the sky and i don't know it's just such a beautiful sight i would love to visit somewhere like this in real life but yeah although this is a residential house i went into it thinking about an airbnb so i want it kind of like that luxury mixed in with the comforts of home so luxury in the aspect of everything is kind of clean and pulled back um, and like the decoration is pretty simple however um, it has everything that you would expect in a normal home so it feels familiar um, it's basically like a bed and breakfast but you know for the modern times the main difference between a bed and breakfast and an Airbnb is that bed and breakfasts typically have um, like a staff or an innkeeper there to um, help accommodate you with anything that you need whereas an Airbnb like you're renting out someone's home so they're not there to assist you with things you kind of just live as if it's your own house so yeah I really really like that concept I've never utilized an Airbnb but I understand the concept by checking out this show on Netflix called stay here and the whole premise of that show is helping home owners earn extra income by sprucing up their homes that way they're able to um they're able to kind of bargain or barter rather how much more they can charge if people was to stay in their airbnb opposed to a hotel or somewhere else so i thought it was a really cool um kind of learning experience for me even though I don't just have extra properties laying around it's just interesting seeing how little changes can make your home look that much more attractive and that much more accommodating for guests so definitely check it out if you're interested I think it's a really good show and um, I definitely learned a lot anyway back to the build um, I am creating a fence here and uh, if you didn't notice this house is on a slight hill so therefore I didn't flatten out the edges when I did the fencing so it looks a little um, jagged it doesn't look completely flat but I really like that look because um, a lot of time with beach houses who um, that have fencing it's not flat because the terrain is shifty with the sand and just like the natural hills that happens around big bodies of water. So I really, really liked that. I felt like that actually worked to my advantage here just to get the style of a beach home, right? Um, I'm currently figuring out the interior now, just kind of like the floor plan. This house has three bedrooms and two bathrooms. And at first I only budget budgeted out my space for one bathroom, but I'm like with three different bedrooms, 
I'm gonna need a second bathroom. So one of the bedrooms have an ensuite, and the other two bedrooms have to use the common space bathroom. And then upstairs is like our open floor plan living space. I did it like that because in my mind, if you're coming off of the beach and out of the water and like you're dripping wet, you don't want that tracking everywhere through your house. So I wanted to make sure that the bedrooms and the bathrooms was like at your immediate access. And then upstairs where um, it's most of the lounging and the social, I feel like that was the best place to put it because um, your sims are able to sit outside on the deck and enjoy the sea and enjoy the sight. So it just worked better putting the um, common spaces upstairs and the private spaces downstairs in this case. And I really, really like how that came out. Some of the uh, major packs that I used within this build was Get Together, Jungle Adventure, Get Famous, Seasons, Cats and Dogs, and City Living. Um, and also the, the, I get the perfect patio in the backyard stuff. I think it's the perfect patio because there is a hot tub out back. I also use a couple items from the fitness pack as well as the movie hangout stuff pack. So yeah, there's definitely a variety of items in here. Um, but you know, if you choose to download this from the gallery, all of that will be listed. So I'm not going to go into what is where, but um, I do want to say that Get Famous is definitely used in the living room area in the bedrooms. Um, City Living is also used in the bedroom and Jungle Adventure is mainly in the kitchen. So I think that those are the items that you're probably going to immediately recognize because they have like a certain style to them. So. I really enjoy mixing everything together. Um, style wise, I feel like this is kind of like modern, minimalistic, beach chic, if that even makes sense. And I say that because um, a lot of the um, building materials, <laughs> I'm using air quotes, uh, are kind of reminiscent of the modern style. So with the concrete and like the beautiful um, exposed raw timbers, like I feel like you see that a lot in modern style homes. And it has quite a minimalistic feel because there's not a lot of clutter. Everything pretty much has a function. Like I didn't want to, um, use up a lot of like our wall space putting like a bunch of personal things so there are some atmospheric items on the walls like these pictures here that i believe came with um get famous if i'm not mistaken it's either get famous or one of the base game updates i'm not sure because every time we get an update we seem to get like a couple of really simple items that um kind of come in handy but I'm pretty sure those paintings came with Get Famous. Um, so yeah, pretty much the only paintings on the walls are kind of like canvas-like. So they're pretty lightweight, even though they are a little bit bigger than like a picture frame. Um, but yeah, I say all that to say that I took more of a minimalistic approach with decor. Um, and I feel like this beach house is very now. I watch a lot of architectural design shows on Netflix and HGTV and um, I feel like this style of being more modern and being more refined and pulled back and um, also using locally resourced materials, I feel like that's something that's really, really on trend right now, um, especially as... Um, more people come into the world we have to think about utilizing existing resources and not depleting all of our um just all of our natural resources like people have are coming up with more ways to be more eco-conscious and more eco-friendly if that makes sense anyway <laughs> back into the build and uh away from my tangent i'm creating like this little cabana area outside so how I did that was I created a room and then I added these columns here and now I'm putting up some curtains. I end up going with the ones from the Vintage Glamour Stuff Pack just to give, like I said, that cabana feel. And in my mind when the wind is blowing, like the fabric is just sweeping in the wind and it's such, just, it's such a beautiful sight in my head. Like I really wish that the curtains would move in the wind, but you know, we can always pretend. And I wanted to kind of give a a nautical vibe so I 
I definitely made sure to use the deepest of blue couches that I can find and those couches in that little corner came with the fitness stuff pack now I'm out back creating like this little shaded area um I know it's actually called something I don't know what it's called um but it's kind of like a lattice um a lattice formation I guess that's the best way I can kind of describe it uh, but just kind of providing a subtle shade over our back area I don't really see this space being utilized as much but it's an additional space maybe like later at night when everyone wants to hang out around the hot tub or just have a little bit of a conversation this space can really come in handy and I'm utilizing some of these low-lying flowers or daisies I'm not exactly sure which flowers they are but they came with base game just to add a little bit more cover and a little bit more texture around the back um now i am adding um some of our other essentials like a mailbox and a um outdoor bin and some outdoor lighting just so we can see <laughs> out back at night and um you know, I'm adding in some trees. Um, I do plan on doing more videos talking about landscaping and what I think works out best. But to sum up my thoughts on landscaping, it's best to check out your surrounding areas and try to match it. I feel like that's when the best landscaping comes in, when it actually matches the environment around because it just makes it look more realistic and it kind of takes out the guesswork in what to use as far as landscaping back into the kitchen i just added in this bar also from jungle adventure so your sims can have a little bit of a drinky drink if they want whether it's a little bit of a dim and gusty or some vino um they can enjoy themselves with that bar and i'm just adding in another rug underneath the dining table space and um i just really love how everything came out I feel like this space is really wide open and spacious and very inviting but um anyway I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here I feel like I'm rambling at this point if you made it this far in the video I just want to say thank you again so so much for watching it definitely means a lot to me and if you haven't done so already feel free to subscribe also click that notification bell that way you never miss an upload from me and definitely like comment and share this video it helps me out a lot and it lets me know what you like and what you want to see more of and um, definitely give me a follow on my social medias my Instagram handle is simply me see I post my thumbnails and a couple of things about my personal life if you're interested and um, you can always find me on Twitter my Twitter handle is simply me see YT. I feel like I get to engage with you all the most over there. I do polls. I ask questions. I get you guys opinions over there. And it's really helpful. So definitely check me out on Twitter. And if you like to download Horizon House and check out other builds from me, you can definitely find them on the gallery. My origin ID is simply dash Nisi. Again, you all, thank you so, so much for watching. I'm going to hop off here and I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye guys.
Thank you.